Hello, my name is Garrett Maxson. Today we're going to go over advanced scripting using variables and send keys and another option called send dragging keys within it. This is a little bit more um, of an advanced tutorial. Um, when you're first creating templates, you probably will not use this, but it when you get farther into advanced scripting with send keys and you want to have certain things happen, you might find this useful or you will find this useful eventually. So again, I've created a command to start off with called example of writing. And in this one, we use send keys, which we've made a tutorial of a video on before using a double quote to put in hello world and then curly brackets to push our key enter to move us to the next line. Um, and down here is the send dragon keys. Now there's these two do the same thing, but they do them a little bit differently. And dra send dragon keys is along with dragon. And this is part of the BB script, the send keys. Um, so next to them I have these uh, note cards that the send keys is least compatible, meaning that it does work within Word, but there's some programs you'll find that send keys doesn't work, but it is faster and it is more reliable. And the reason why it's more reliable is because we have this true statement after it. And the true state will make sure that everything is sent in here before it moves on to the next line. Um, there's only, I've found that this becomes a problem with um, using dialog boxes, that the dialog box will start before the rest of Hello World is entered. So using this is a little bit more reliable and this can only hold 128 characters, meaning that it can only hold 128 letters or 128 keys within these quotes. Um, next one is the Send Dragon Keys, that this is most compatible. So in Health Connect, we can use Send Keys in Copath, um, sorry, not Health Connect, in Copath and in Word, we can use Send Keys, Notepad, we can use Send Keys. Now, if you're using um, Epix Health Connect within Kaiser, um, or some programs that are, are, are uh, like those, um, then using send keys doesn't always work. And so at that point, try send dragon keys. And this is most compatible through everything in the computer, but it is slower, right? Slower, and it is less reliable because if you use a dialog box after this, this doesn't have a true statement after it, so it may overwrite it. Um, so if you're having problem, this should be used for navigating um, other programs such as Health Connect, and this should be always used with word processors, send keys. And this again can only hold on 128 characters <clears throat> within the quotes. Mm -hmm. uh, the next part here is we're going to start using variables, and that's pretty much what this tutorial video is going to be about, is that we can write out a variable here, and we can name, a, a variable is, is a block of memory that is being used by the computer to store information to be used multiple times. So if we want to use a variable, if we want to say the word hello world you know, 10 times in a document, or more, it would be a lot easier to just write in a variable than it would be to write out the whole hello world enter on there. So it's less keystrokes that we could do, it just makes things quicker. When you get into the commands that are 100 lines long, 600 lines long, you want to try to cut down on time of editing those cut types of commands and um, and writing them. Uh, when you write them, it, it kind of will flow, but when you go back to edit them, you won't have to edit the entire thing if you can just edit certain parts of it, like certain, like the variable here. Um, this is an example of how using a string. With, so with it's in double quotes, it writes it out as a string. Um, a string is a sentence um, that you're looking to send through, but if there's no quotes, it will hold a number, such as this. So this is a number variable. Again, these can be named whatever we want to. I just named them this. It could be named number. Um, it, there is one exception, or there's a few exceptions that are um, reserved words. There are words that are reserved for uh, the language itself, such as send keys is something that's reserved. So I couldn't name a variable send keys. I couldn't name it count or go to. Um, and there's very few of these words and you're know, unlikely to, to come across them anyways, but such as as, as is also reserved key, or, and, those are a little bit more likely. And you'll see that those will pop up in blue if they're already reserved. So look at this one down here, it says uh, two and two is a reserved word and that's this is actually supposed to be part of my example down here so there's a little bit of video editing right there that might <laughs> throw you off a little bit but this is how it should look so here we have another number which is going to also be a variable but here we're going to use the variable three a number plus three 
So we're going to use another number. It's going to call both of these. So this is going to turn into another number is equal to 3 plus 3 because it's using a number twice. And you can use this as many times as you want. You can also use multiple, subtraction, division. This is this add sign here, since it's not inside quotes, is, is called an operator. And then we can do less than or equal than signs. Those are all operators um, that will work for this. So if we want to do another number, three is greater than another number, we can use that. Um, and the, those will be a little bit, I'll do those in another video tutorial. It's a little bit more advanced. So the send keys down here is going to send our send keys a, vel, um, a variable, which is going to be hello world, enter. And then the next one is going to send our send keys, which is going to be a number, which is going to be three. And then we'll, I put this enter in so it jumps down another line. And then we're going to have our another number, which is going to be three plus three. So it's going to be six. So we're going to go ahead and call this. This is an example of writing. And we'll see what it does. Example of writing. So. And bring back our command here and so we can see that the send keys hello world enter send keys dragon keys hello world enter which is this one a variable which is right here send keys a variable which is hello world enter it's right here and then we have our send keys enter which props us down to down to here our the sorry this part calls enter and then drops us down to this three where we write a number, which is this a number right here, which writes three, and then an enter sign to bring us down one more, which is write another number, which is right here, which is three plus three equals six. So this is a way of using operators and variables. This is a little complicated. Um, and if you're just making basic templates, you won't really need to see this yet. Um, when you get more into uh, more advanced scripting where you make commands that are more complicated and are, are um, optional things that go into it that you want to have other things happen when certain variables are, are different. Um, sorry, it's a little bit confusing. But this is just an example of things that you can use. So, my name is Garrett Maxson. Thank you very much for listening.